what's in here? What's it do? And can I make it from scratch? It's the stuff inside your stuff. The ingredients. First things first. These are not shaving cream. They're actually shaving foam. Shaving cream is more like face cream, and that deserves its own episode, as does shave gel and shave soap. But today is all about this guy. Now the truth is, many of you could probably shave your face with just water. You would though have to soak your beard hair for a good two minutes because that's how long it takes for the hair to get hydrated and soft. About 30% softer than normal. But all of these make the shaving experience nicer and easier. Shaving products lubricate the interface between skin and the sharp blade, and some people say they help keep beard hairs wet during the shave. So why use one of these over another? Honestly, it's just personal preference. The cream and the gels tend to be a bit thicker, so if you have a thick beard, that might be for you, whereas the foams and the soaps tend to wash off a little bit easier. Uh, foam in particular is convenient. I mean, it comes out of the can already lathered up, so you just stick it on your wet face and you're off shaving. Now, the two best-selling shave foams in the US have basically the same ingredients. They are... This one has BHT, which is a preservative. This one does not. They both have fragrances, and it's actually kind of amazing how different the fragrances are. This one is somewhat like a, like a locker room with wood cleaner. And this one sort of has like a, like a citrus, citrus leather type smell. It's shockingly different. Hmm. Anyway, aside from water, the essential ingredients can be split up into five types. The first is a lubricating soap. In this case, triethanolamine sterate. Now, TEA sterate, which you can think of as steric acids, I don't know, chemical cousin, is responsible for making all that lather, which reduces friction between the razor blades and your face. The second category are the foam boosters, or Lorith 23 and sodium laurel sulfate, which help make all that lather extra creamy. The third category is the fragrance, and the fourth is the preservative, in this case, BHT, an antioxidant that helps prevent the can from corroding. Now, the last group of ingredients are the propellants, specifically isobutane and propane, which are both flammable and explosive. So whatever you do, do not. Dusty. Just kidding. At reasonable temperature and pressure, this will not combust because there's not nearly enough isobutane and propane to make this whole thing flammable. In fact, I could take a lighter to it, and as you can see, it does not combust. But you should still not try this at home because this can is under pressure. Now you might be wondering why there are propellants in shaving foam. Well, it's what makes the foam a foam. Now, foams in general are formed when pockets of gas get trapped in a solid or a liquid. Inside our can here, we have the first four ingredients I showed you. There are also the propellants, which are gases at room temperature and pressure, so you'd expect that they'd sit above the liquid since they're less dense. But the whole can is pressurized at two to four times atmospheric pressure, which ends up liquefying some of the propellant, meaning it actually dissolves in the soapy mixture below. When you press this button, the propellant gas at the top expands, pushing the liquid down, which in turn pushes it up through the straw, out the nozzle, and into the world. Now, here is the absolutely insane part. Remember that the soapy mixture coming out of the nozzle, that has some liquefied propellant dissolved in it. And when that liquefied propellant hits our atmosphere, it turns back into a gas, which gets trapped in the surrounding liquid, creating bubbles. Billions of them. Now, those bubbles are way smaller than anything you'd get if you just lather up with soap or use one of these air pump hand foamy things. And it's the tininess of the bubbles that gives shaving foam its structure. Now that we know what's in shaving foam and how it works, I'm gonna try and make my own from scratch using only natural ingredients. I'm gonna start with the exact same ingredient you find in commercial shave foam, steric acid, which I'm gonna react with sodium hydroxide, and that will get us sterate, which hopefully will produce a rich, creamy, lubricating lather. Both of these, by the way, you can get from nature, and sodium hydroxide can be a bit dangerous, which is why I'm wearing safety gear. I'll also use this natural soap as a foam booster because it foams up real nice. For fragrance, rosemary essential oil, and because I don't want to be dealing with pure, concentrated, flammable gases, I'm going to use nitrous oxide as my propellant, and I'm going to use this whipping cream canister to dispense my foam. So let's get started.
this is getting slimy, which is a good sign for a lubricating soap. and tight. Now we charge it. Let's give it a shake. All right, moment of truth. Huh. Hey, that's not bad. It did foam up. I can see the bubbles and uh, it's not quite as structured as the commercial foams. I would guess that my sterate concentration is probably too low for that. Um, but let's now see how this actually performs on my face. Now I didn't soak my beard hair, so this is probably gonna hurt, but for science. Ooh, yeah. By the way, this smells amazing. This is really not bad at all. This shaving foam is performing, ooh, smooth. Hey, very well. I am, I'm impressed. I would give this an eight out of 10. Now, if you guys have ideas on how to improve this recipe, let me know in the comments. If you have an idea for an episode, hit me up on Twitter. And in the meantime, I'm gonna finish shaving.